Hello and welcome to another Behind the Scenes here at Rare and today I'm joined by senior designer Shelley Preston who's going to take us through a much requested feature, robots. Um, so let's start from where did the origins of robots come from? Obviously robots are a part of the pirate fantasy, like getting in your little rowboat, rowing along with your treasure, keeping it safe. It's always been something like that we've wanted to do in Sea of Thieves. So right back on the Unity prototype, we had rowboats in there um, and it's always been something we've wanted to bring in to our, to our release version. Um, but it really feels like the perfect time now with Forsaken Shores coming up because Forsaken Shores is all about peril and danger and the islands themselves present danger. So volcanoes erupt and these massive hot rocks rain down, damage your ship, damage players. So the rowboat gives you like, you can be a smaller target. You can anchor your ship down further away and use the rowboat to get in and navigate that danger. And also the water around the island after an eruption turns superheated as well. So you're not gonna be able to swim in it. So the rowboat's perfect for that, transitioning yourself on and off the island. So you said about getting on and off the island, but the other advantage of that is storing things on there, right? Yeah, so of course you can grab your loot, grab your treasure, you can drop it in the rowboat, but there's also a small storage container on there, like a small kind of chest under the seat where you can store your usual resources, your wood, your cannibals, your bananas. So it just makes things easier for you, like as a crew or even especially if you're on your own, doing all that resource gathering on the island, you can bring it back to one point and then take it back to your ship all in one go. And there's been plenty of speculation on the forums and on Reddit about how robots work within our world. So how do they work in regards to attaching to ships? Like, can, can a sloop have a rowboat? Yeah, absolutely. So it's really important to us that every ship can have a rowboat. So you don't start with a rowboat, you'll find them washed up on islands around in the world, and then you can dock them to the back of your ship. So that doesn't matter whether it's a sloop, brigantine, or a galleon, you can dock it and take it away with you. Obviously, it's, it's a temporary thing. So if you damage the rowboat, if it sinks, if you lose it, or if you don't dock it back on, like you've lost it. Um, but it was important that every player with every play style can have a rowboat as part of their experience. Sorry. And it's crucial to say that robots are not just available in Forsaken Shores, right? They're, yeah, absolutely. You can use it anywhere yeah. in the world. It, Forsaken Shores just felt like the perfect kind of introduction for rowboats, but they will be appearing in the whole world when we turn them on for Forsaken Shores. And where are we now? What sort of technical challenges are we facing with how we get robots like into, into the update? So we've basically prototyped um, rowboats. As I talked about, we prototyped them a long time ago in Unity, but we've been prototyping them in our Unreal Engine um, and really solving like how, because it's a, it's a physics object that's buoyant. It's another kind of, it's a mini, mini ship in a way. Um, so we've been solving how that feels, what controls the player will have, um, how it feels to row it. And then like we're looking to bring all of that over into our mainline version to get in players' hands now. So one of the main things we're looking at at the moment is um, how we, make sure that the animations give you that real sense of being in the rowboat so the camera's just in the right position that you feel like you're really immersed in the rowboat but that you can see enough of your hands like rowing the oar so that you get that feedback at all times as, as to what your hands are doing. And so how many people can we fit into a rowboat? It's designed to fit four people. We wanted to have the ability to cram your whole crew in there and it's quite it's quite funny because obviously you face like this so as I'm rowing I'm facing you and you have this kind of slightly social awkwardness of how close you are to your crewmates. So the rowboat comes as part of the Forsaken Shores update, um, but it's not just constrained to within, say, the Devil's Roar area of the world, right? Absolutely not, yeah. Um, the, the rowboat comes as part of Forsaken Shores, but when we release it, they'll be washing up all over the Sea of Thieves. So, like, we really can't wait to see what players are going to do with them. Like, I've already had people saying they want to fill them full of gunpowder and go on, like, gunpowder missions with them. Um, like, I think it will transform the game for solo players because you can transport a lot more loot a lot more easily now. And I just, yeah, I can't wait to see the, the creative ways that players will use them. Well, thank you very much. And we hope you all enjoy getting your hands on the rowboat when the Forsaken Shores update releases this September. Cheers. <laughs> that was my favourite video. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to stay up to date with everything Sea of Thieves, then please click the subscribe button and hit that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.